Today we are going to look at how to create custom textures for helmets or other items that are not usually included in texture template packs. I will be using Blender and a plugin from Ed and Mirror on GitHub. I'll also leave links for these in the description. As for how to install and use the plugin, all information is provided on the GitHub page, so I will not be covering that. We'll be starting in the model viewer and use the F18 for our example today. First, we need to load our F18 model. Once loaded, open the texture rollout and search for helmet. Here you can see three different image files being used, the rough mat, normal, and diffuse. I'm only going to be changing the diffuse layer, so let's select that one. Now we can press the UV to file button. This will export the UV coordinates in a .csv format. I'm going to save them to my desktop for now as we don't really need to keep this file once we've created our UV layer. Once your UV coordinates are saved, click on the navigate button. This will open a folder browser and should have the texture file highlighted. Let's open this file in our graphics editor and save a copy of it. We do not want to edit the original. Before we close the model viewer, let's also generate a description file. If you are working on a livery already, you will probably have your own description file and will not need to do this. However, you will need to edit your description file to use the new texture once it is created. With a description file, UV coordinates, and texture file all extracted from the model viewer, we can now close it and open Blender where we will convert our UV coordinates to an image file. Again, detailed instructions on this can be found on the GitHub page, however, it is a very simple process. Keep in mind that the exported file will go to the same location that your .csv file was loaded from. Now let's open the file created by the Blender plugin and choose the appropriate image size. In this case, it is 2048 by 2048. You can find this either in the model viewer or by looking at the image size of the texture we made a copy of. Now we can copy the UV layer and paste it into our texture file. As you can see, we now have the UV map on our texture file and in so doing created a texture template. Now we need to edit our description file and place it in our custom livery folder. For this tutorial, I made a temporary livery named Helmet Texture. Let's edit the description file for it now. First, I'm going to change all of the false values to true so that it is not looking for these textures in our folder. Now we can search for helmet and turn the diffuse file for the helmet to false. This will tell DCS to use the helmet texture file we will be exporting to our livery folder. Sometimes the description files generated from the model viewer will have duplicate lines for the same texture. Here you can see that we have the helmet files in duplicate, so I will delete the second set. If you are currently working within another description file and the helmet line is not there, you can add it. Finally, at the bottom, let's set a name so we can find it. With our description file set up and in our custom livery folder, we can create and export a new texture file. For this, I'm simply going to put some bright orange on the main part of the helmet and export it as a DDS file. Now we can load the model viewer, load the F18 model, and apply our custom livery. As you can see, the default livery is being used, but the helmet texture is now showing the new texture we created. This process can be used for many other items as well, so it's a good process to learn if you want to take your livery creation to the next level. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you haven't, and thank you for watching.